Hey guys, it is Friday and going live as promised to talk about differentiators. So there are a few different things or different approaches that you can um, use for this. What I find helpful is to look at your competitors and look at some of your industry leaders in the same business that you're in. And then figure out or write, honestly write these things down. I'm a I use paper and pads like every day, old school, right? Aaron, baby. Um, so write down what their offers are or how you feel that they are differentiating or how you feel <clears throat> or what you're reading is, like what their services are, what they're offering, right? And make note of that. And then look at what you are offering. So sometimes when you can see, like if I had three different companies that were kind of doing the same things, there's always gonna be something that's different. So maybe someone has more courses. Hey buddy, <laughs> we went from Teamworks to uh, live Facebook. <laughs> Woohoo! Um, and uh, where was I? Aaron, you're distracting me. <laughs> I'm thinking about those minions on the beach. <laughs> Inside joke. So um, think about, um, so there's always going to be uh, a benefit, uh, a service, a course. Uh, there's always going to be something that is different. So then you can write out, okay, what do you offer? And so like, is it again, a course, a mastermind, coaching, um, a software program. I know there's tons of like different note software program out there for those that are in note investing. I know there's different, um, uh, like calculators, like how to calculate uh, whether something's a good deal or not. There's those different tools. That's what I'm looking for, tools. Do you have or use a tool that is different than those other companies? And mark down all those little tiny things because all those little tiny things can add up. And what you think is like, it's just a tool. I use it every day. It's not a big thing. It could totally, you could take that and leverage the hell out of it. Now here, and I'll go back to that actually. So, and here are some other things. Think about your superpower. So what is it about you or what you do or how you handle your clients that is like amazing? What do they appreciate the most? And feel free to go, you know, do surveys or ask your clients questions. Um, the sun just came out, it was raining earlier. Um, you know, like what is your superpower? So for instance, for me, um, my clients love that um, I'm authentic. I, I'm not saying all this stuff to brag or whatever, because I'm just not that way. But like, they feel like they're being taken care of. They feel like those attention to details are looked after. They feel like they can just push all those uh, content marketing tasks off to the side and it's being done. They trust that I am implementing everything as I say I am and I follow through. And so for that, it's invaluable to them because they've worked with other companies and they haven't followed through or they haven't been detail oriented or they haven't done blah, 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 whatever, all those wonderful soft skills. So like, why do your clients love you? You can take that information and use um, a marketing messaging to use that as a differentiator. Think about your personality. I mean, personality is huge. People buy from people that they, they like, that they wanna work with, that they feel safe with, that they connect with. And um, like for, for us, our company, uh, for Smooth Sailing and Real Estate uh, Investors Marketing, we, I'm the face of the business and I am very uh, a strong believer in relationships. And uh, my clients are not just a number that I process and they never see me, they never hear from me, they don't connect with me, they don't get strategies, whatever. Um, I have a very strong bond and I like to keep it that way because that's my personality. So you can use your personality and how you run your business, your ethics, whatever. You can take that as well as a differentiator. Um, your niche. So um, like for instance, there may be you know a bazillion people out there that are in notes investing um, as example. And then that's top of mind because I was just writing a, an email about it. Um, 
but let's say there is something specific that you do or that you have within notes investing. Say, you, and I can't think of what that is right now, but, but there's something just slightly different that's not the same as everybody else. Write it down. And, aw, thanks, Aaron. And then he, think of, um, and a lot of people don't think of this, think of your processes. So I was working with uh, an investor, and he obviously invests uh, real estate for other people and takes their money, and you'll invest it and does things in reports and stuff like that. Um, and so his leads needs to create relationships and trust, obviously, and and then works with them to um, take their money and invest it in real estate for them. Now, he does not take every Joe Schmo and work with them willy-nilly. He has a very specific onboarding process. And it was funny, the more I talked to him about it, I was like, what exactly do you do? And start from, he's like, why are you asking me all these questions? Let's see. But it was really, really insightful because his onboarding process and his qualifying process was gold. It set him apart from other people because it was a way for him to, and I'll go into all the nitty gritty of it, but he um, qualified, he developed trust and a relationship within that process. And it was a long process and he really informed the other people, the other, like the leads, prospects, whatever, um, how he works with other people and really steps them through it and also informing them fully of the investing, you know, ins and outs of the parts that he handled. Kind of hard to explain. But his process, I'm like, that is a differentiator. Make sure on your homepage, sales page, strategy call page, whatever, that you call it something. It's like a, you, you just need to know how to use the language to, to leverage it. And so other uh, clients that I have have different systems. So like one has a way of creating um how to leverage podcasting to get your ideal clients and attract them. So not just doing interviews for the sake of doing interviews. And then, you know, some people don't get enough leads from it or they do get a lot of leads, but it's not their ideal client. Um, anyways, tons of different problems. So she's created the six step, you know, get magnetic messaging system, um, which is the Coles notes. And that is huge. That is a differentiator. So if you have a method, a system, a formula, um, a tool that you use to dial in what you are doing and how you're helping your clients, but even also creating your own success. Don't take those little tools for granted. They are huge. And so in your sales copy, you can mention those things. Hey, I have blah, blah tool that I use to do this. And I'm going to share that tool with you. Um, it's just, again, ways of differentiating yourself, leveraging your superpowers, leveraging what sets you apart, leveraging your systems and procedures, your knowledge, your expertise, your personality, all those different things. So I challenge you to write all of those down, compare yourself to others, that's fine, because you can kind of see sometimes their messaging and uh, how you can approach a situation. So you are all gifted in your own way. You all have amazing things that are unique to you, unique to your business model. I think you just need to take the time to fully understand and know how to leverage it and how to frame it and how to position it. So, of course, I'm here to help. Um, I noticed um, Greg may have had another question um, about um about leads so i'm gonna hop in there and answer that question and then i'm gonna go live on my personal facebook page if you want to join me there and just uh talk about how i'm dealing with the current climate and um you know battling um any anxiety or fear and how i'm trying to make a positive spin and just little daily things to um move forward so ho hopefully that helps. I would love to have any comments. And of course, invite everyone to the group, the REI Marketing Group.com.